In this episode, we shall discuss the income statement and show you the income statement of Sarah's Mini Mart based on the adjusted trial balance which we prepared previously. The income statement is one of the four financial statements that show the company's profit and loss performance over a period of time, by taking into consideration the total revenues earned and subtracting the total expenses incurred, both from operating and non-operating activities. The balances reflected here are the ones that are shown in the income statement account section of the adjusted trial balance. Again, as our refresher, this is the first part of the spreadsheet of the adjusted trial balance covering the balance sheet accounts portion, which shows you the separate columns for the total debit and total credit as well as the separate columns for net debit and net credit. This is the second part of the spreadsheet for the adjusted trial balance, covering the income statement accounts portion. Let me first walk you through the corresponding general ledger of each of the income statement accounts to show you the breakdown or details of the transactions. This is the general ledger of the sales account which is a revenue account. This sales account includes both cash and credit sales of the company for the month ending September 30, 2020. This is the general ledger of the cost of goods sold account which is an expense account. This represents the purchase cost paid to the supplier of the sold merchandise. This is the general ledger of the salaries and wages expense account. This represents the salaries paid to the company's four employees, from September 1st to 25. This is the general ledger of the rent expense account which represents the store space rental for the period. This is the general ledger of the transportation expense account. This represents transportation expenses that are business related. This is the general ledger of the store supplies expense account. Take note that when the supplies were bought the full amount of $100 was expensed outright, but at the end of the month, $60 representing the unused portion was reclassified to store supplies inventory to correct the overstatement of expense for the period. This is the general ledger of the depreciation expense account. Take note that this account is comprised of two types of assets, namely office equipment and furniture and fixtures. The length of the economic life of the office equipment is 3 years or 36 months, while that of furniture and fixtures is 5 years or 60 months. This is the general ledger of the amortization expense account. The amount was derived by allocating the total amount of the intangible assets, over their economic or useful life. Take note that the intangible asset here is leasehold improvement, which length of economic life is 1 year or 12 months. This is the general ledger of the insurance expense account. This represents the insurance expense for the month of September 2020. This is the general ledger of the light and power expense account. This represents the light and power consumption of the company. This is the general ledger of the water expense account. This represents the water consumption of the company for drinking, cleaning, and other business-related purposes. This is the general ledger of the interest income account. This represents the 3% accrued interest income for 20 days, September 10th to 30, on $2,000 Treasury bills placements. This is the general ledger of the bank charge expense account. This has two transactions for the month as per bank statement, one is the bank service charge for bank loan processing and the other is the cost of check booklet. This is the general ledger of the interest expense account. This represents the 5% interest expense for 22 days, on a $3,000 bank loan. This is the income statement of Sarah's Mini Mart for the month ending September 30, 2020. Take note that all the net debit and net credit balances of general ledger and that of the second part of the adjusted trial balance now comprise this income statement, and the only amount you can see appearing in this income statement that is not in the adjusted trial balance is the net loss of our negative $1,841.95, highlighted in red font and yellow background, at the bottom. This negative $1,841.95 represents the difference between the total revenues of $14,703.33 and total expenses of $16,545.28 for the month of September 2020. The total revenues of $14,703.33 is derived by adding total sales of $14,700 and interest income of $3.33. 
The total expenses of $16,545.28 is the sum of cost of goods sold of $11,760, operating expenses of $4,701.11, and non-operating expenses of $84.17. Take note that the company's operations in September 2020 resulted in a net loss of $1,841.95 because its total revenues of $14,703 and 33 cents is lower than its total expenses incurred of $16,545.28. Net loss is not an unusual occurrence or result for startup businesses like Sarah's Mini Mart. Depending on the degree of competition in the area, this is considered a normal result considering the business is just a month old and it needs more time to get loyal customers. Take note that the net loss of $1,841.95 shall be reflected or carried to the balance sheet under the retained earnings account through the process of undertaking the closing entries which is the eighth step in the accounting cycle. We shall discuss this in detail in our next episode.